I think we are stuck with each other professionally and personally for the rest of our lives. You can tell just how close Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo have become from their tight embrace. The pair continued their parade of wicked method dressing with Ariana channeling Glinda in a princess-like polka dot Balmond gown, which is a custom replica of this 1963 design from the fashion house. And Cynthia stayed loyal to Alphaba first in a strapless mint green bejeweled Louis Vuitton design. Then inside, she changed into a rhinestone long sleeve gown. I don't want to jinx anything. One of the night's honorees, Paul Mescal fielding questions from The Hollywood Reporter about his movie Gladiator 2 and Wicked becoming the next Barbenheimer since they both hit theaters November 22nd. You'll recall the sensation Barbie and Oppenheimer caused when they were released on the same day last summer. If we can replicate anything next year near thus, it would be huge. From rising stars to the established A-list, Selena Gomez made a sophisticated statement in a navy suede Alaya halter gown with a leather bustier. Nicole Kidman kept it simple in a chic black Balenciaga creation. Archival Styles also made a strong showing, with Kaya Gerber wearing a rare Givenchy gown designed in 1997 by Alexander McQueen. It references Audrey Hepburn's white ball gown from 1964's My Fair Lady. Ah, ladies. Kendall Jenner in Scaparelli was giving old Hollywood vibes with her blonde retro looking bob and sister Kylie caused a commotion in a statement a naked dress from Thierry Mugler's 1998 collection. Kim Kardashian structured corset and matching hooded code was also from the Mugler vault. The mogul posed with Cooper Koch and Nicholas Chavez who shot to fame playing Eric and Lyle Menendez in Monsters. Kim told Variety about her ongoing crusade to help get the brothers out of jail. I'm someone that believes in second chances and I really believe in them.